Robert Hale. Thanks for joining us for the Cattleman's Corner. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. With the problems we've had with the COVID virus, it just emphasizes how much we need the Internet to do business. And more and more business is being done in both the horse and the cattle industry and related industries over the Internet. So if you don't have a really good Internet presence and a good place to house your website or to advertise your website, go to agsearch.us. You can get it on there. be a great place for you, agsearch.us. That's agsearch.us. The Oswald Cattle Company's Steve Oswald is with us again today. They're down in Cotopaxi, Colorado. How do you manage your grass? What kind of grazing system do you use? We spend a good share of our time on on these sub-irrigated meadows that run down through the ranch. That's where we calve. That's where the cows are right now. We're using ultra-high stock density on those. We're moving them three to five times a day behind portable electric fence, run everything in one mob. So we're getting, you know, we're taking off half the leaf mass. That's kind of the goal. And then give it rest, you know, like long periods of rest, that real high impact. And they're manuring and dung, uh, urinating all over the place. So it's real high impact and makes these metals very productive. That's where I'm going with that. And then we, on, on the rest of the ranch, which is more dry rangeland, you know, we're maybe in there three to five days. And then it's given a year's worth of rest. Some of my pastures I've been having to rest longer than that just because of this drought that we seem to be in. Steve Oswald, Oswald Cattle Company at Cotopaxi, Colorado. Thanks for joining us for the Cattleman's Corner. Always great to have you along. May God bless and you come back and join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.